Well, I am here for MCM and Art Basel. I think it's really cool. I think that it's different for MCM and I think it just kind of brings a different look to the brand. My favorite style when I'm not on the runway, like personal style, mm -hmm. would probably be some form of baggy pants and some sneakers to just be comfortable. Social media plays a huge part in my life and a huge part in my career. Um, in this day and age, I think that social media has completely taken over, especially in fashion. By being yourself is how you can be a role model to people. I think being real and letting people in on who you really are is how you become a role model. I don't think about my famous friends as famous friends. To me, they're just my friends and they're people I have relationships with and, you know, it's, it's all very normal. We're just n normal humans at the end of the day. Our jobs and our lifestyles may not be normal, but what we do together is what any other normal people our age are doing. Everybody, for the most part, is so supportive and nice, especially in, even in person, like, even coming to Hong Kong, I've met fans here already and they're super sweet and super supportive and I'm always really, really appreciative of, of the support that I get. In my downtime, I like to just kind of veg out because I don't really get to do it very often. Just be home, watch movies, hang out with my friends. You don't really get a lot of time to just like yourself, so I think it's important when you're traveling all the time and you're on shoots and on sets and constantly talking to people and around people to take the proper time for you. I would love to work with um, Donatella Versace. I think a brand that I really support, that I have a great relationship with and that I love is Tommy Hilfiger. Um, I just did their denim campaign and I've done his shows twice, so that's, that's a big one for me. A big pet peeve of mine is when people stand too close to you unnecessarily. Like you know when someone's just really close to you that you hear like the like, like in your ear and you're just like, why are you so close to me? I mean for me, New York City is home and it'll always probably be my favorite city to me because it means something to me. But as far as like a workplace, I love Paris. I think it's beautiful. Um, you know, it's a city of love. There's a song by Post Malone that I really like called Boy Bands. I think Post is awesome. I like Rosie Huntington Whiteley a lot. I think her style is, like she doesn't look like she tries too hard and that's what I really like. Probably walking my first runway show, which is weird because I used to be a ballet dancer. So for me, like I would go on stage a lot and perform a lot. So you'd think just walking in front of people wouldn't really phase you when you would put on point shoes and dance on your toes in front of an audience of people, but I think I was probably like the most nervous and like it was definitely a defining moment in my career, like this is what it's about. I honestly thought I was going to be a professional dancer um, up until I was 17 and I started modeling. So I think I would have hoped to, to have been that if I wasn't modeling. Kind of. You know, the way it happens is you get scouted, you get someone's attention, whether that be from an agency or a photographer or one of those things, and it kind of just happened organically. I was scouted by my first agency, and it just went from there. I, I was doing a couple shoots for a brand online, and they had noticed it, and they had seen it, and contacted the brand that I was working with who then it went through my parents and then kind of went on to something else. My legend would probably be my dad. Um, he's somebody I really look up to. I look up to both my parents. I look up to my whole entire family. I think that if I was in this position I'm in and I didn't have my family, I don't think I'd be the person that I am.